how do you know that they're really? What are you saying? That they fake orgasm? It's possible. Get out of here. Hop through the I'll have what she's had. Hi everyone, I'm Chris Coretis, and this is Grunge Gourmet. That's right, today we're at the Costco Business Center, and we're gonna make our own pastrami with their beef brisket. Let's go shopping. All right, we got a beef brisket flat. This is the authentic cut that you want for making a pastrami. It's leaner, it's meaty, the grain's pretty much running one way. It's got a nice fat cap on here. This is the product you want to use. So we got it, let's get out of here. 10 inch spaghetti. You know I said 10 inches. God, I miss my ex. Vaporize the trial. It's I'm gonna get my apron. I'm gonna put this up. Just put this right here. Okay, so we're making pastrami today. Yep. And we got ourselves a flat brisket choice. But before we do anything, we gotta make a brine. So Chef Malcolmus, you like pastrami, right? This guy loves pastrami. Loves it. Okay, so we got a pot here. This is gonna be a big enough pot for this one gallon of water. And just go one gallon into our pot and uh, we're gonna turn these on. Kosher salt, pink curing salt, brown sugar. We got some pickling spices. You can buy these at the store already made or you can make your own. So let's measure it out. A cup and three and a half tablespoons of this salt. One, two, three, that's like three and a half right there. Five teaspoons of the pink curing salt. Okay. Next, let's get some brown sugar, a half a cup. Three tablespoons of some pickling spice. All we're gonna do is just get that salt and sugar dissolved. Okay, so you're gonna wanna let that brine cool down before you add it to your brisket. If you don't, it's gonna start cooking that brisket. It's gonna feel like an eternity, but just let it cool down, trust me. Okay, so we got our brisket here, it's out of the bag, and I'm gonna put this in here. Now, you could use plastic bags, that is one option, and we're gonna take a brine and just pour it right over. There you go cover it up into the refrigerator. In the fridge, six days, let it brine, rotate it every day, make sure that's completely submerged. After six days, I'm gonna go to my friend Andy Harris's restaurant in San Diego, it's called Grand Ole Barbecue, it's the best barbecue restaurant in San Diego. We're gonna use his smokers, smoke this brisket, and complete the pastrami process. So we'll see you in six days. That's right, now we're at Grand Ole Barbecue in Flint Springs. We're gonna take that Costco brisket that's brining for six days and smoke it here at Grand Ole Barbecue. Let's go smoke it. Okay, so we're in the back of Grand Ole Barbecue. Got my pastrami here. As you can see, we got the smokers over here. Let's get this out of the brine. Then we're gonna go ahead and rinse this off. To put it in this pan here. Then we're gonna go ahead and rinse this and pat it dry. Okay, so we got some black pepper. We got coriander, 50-50. I got my spice grinder, coriander. And not too fine, gonna have a little chunk in it. That's probably good and some black pepper. All right, going in here. Let's give this a little nix. Put this all over, get the other side. Pat that in there, get that all covered. Make a mess at the restaurant. Okay, clean this up. Let's take it over to the smoker. This isn't like the smoker I have in my backyard. And I'm gonna have to man it now too. I just got a new job. It's at the Grand Old Barbecue. I'm the pit master. They put the wood in right here. I need to get one of these for my living room. Can you imagine at night nestled up next to that with a brisket smoking? That's in case someone gets too drunk at the Grand Old Barbecue, they pull this thing out. All right, you're 86. Right, we're going in. So I'm just going right in here. Right there. And then how often do you throw wood in there? 
when the temperature drops, usually like you want to keep it 225. Yeah, I keep it. I usually like it between 225 and 275, depending on what I'm cooking. We got our pastrami in the smoker. We're gonna leave it in there for just about like three hours. Just want to get the smoke in there. After that, it's going in the steamer. While we have time to kill, I did see a yard sale across the street. Let's go check it out. Here we go. Now here's a smoker. This is the smoker we should have used. Royal Oak. I'm afraid. <laughs> if a fucking raccoon jumps out of this thing. All right. I'm gonna go get the pastrami. I'm coming back. We're gonna reshoot right here. Be careful walking around here and have a tetanus shot before you do. Uh, yeah. Uh, this cooler. If I find a human head in this cooler. Oh, sh oh God. Okay. There's not. Oh, they got pomegranates. I'm gonna do a fresh salad with pomegranates with this pastrami. Okay, maybe not. This is pretty solid. Uh-oh, my fingerprints are on the shovel. When they find the body, I'm gonna get arrested. So we're with Andy Harris, pit master, owner, Grand Ole Barbecue. What kind of, what is that? Oak? All white oak, local. All that is for my five pound pastrami. Check out the progress. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, nice and smoky. Sous Chef Malcolmus is gonna enjoy my sweatshirt. Okay, so it's been two and a half hours. I think we've got enough smoke in there. So we're gonna pull it out. All right, so let's get this pastrami out of here. All right, got some aluminum foil. Looks great, it's halfway there. What I'm gonna do at this point, I'm gonna steam it in my oven. And we're gonna get this to 200 degrees. And then it's gonna be fork tender pastrami. Mm. 